happening, man? Back with another video. Hey, next up, we got Big George Foreman off the Sony Pictures Entertainment YouTube channel. You feel what I'm saying? Now, are we getting young Big George Foreman? You know what I'm saying? Where he was fighting Ali. Fighting that other boy up there. Y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Joe Frazier. Are we getting that one or are we getting old? Muhammad Ali. Where he was chubby knocking niggas out. You know what I'm saying? Because that boy was throwing them things in his old age. I think after he became a pastor. So so the Lord helped him whip niggas asses. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. If you want to go see the original video. <laughs> link will be in the description, man. But without any ass that. Okay, because I'm saying this nigga was knocking niggas out. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Let's see what Big George Foreman talked about. Big George Foreman. Oh, we get both. Story of the once and future oh, we get both. Of the world. Um, is it me or do he look like a Vander this Holyfield me, George. more? You got a punch like a George Foreman. Oh, God. Damn. Every battle, the greatest foe that we will call. Oh, Forrest Whitaker? Isn't he? No, that's my that. That's my that. You live one way. I like Forrest Whitaker, way. though. Heavenly Father. Thank you for this food. George should change his name from poor man to poor man. <laughs> Yo, he was poor? I never knew that. Ooh. What's my name now, fool? Foreman is the new heavyweight champion of the world. Ooh. Ooh. Where's all that rage coming from? I don't from? have any rage. And it becomes all you know. Let's thank God for the food, y'all. I bought the food, mama. No. George Foreman ain't no new champ. Don't thank God. Thank me, mom. <laughs> we gonna get it on because we don't get along. First of all, who they got playing Muhammad Ali? You ain't said nothing, George. George. Oh, he passed out after. Your heart stopped. You thought he was dead. I was. I'm done. What? He, I'm not gonna what? box anymore. Do you know what you're walking away from, son? I want to spread the word of God and what I saw. How's being a preacher going for you? It's hard. Hard. I've been getting it's punched in the face. Life. Wow, Sometimes this is crazy. Sometimes it about the same. Hey, Sheldon. Come on in, enjoy yourself. No. Our company said we never paid the bill. Really? There's only two things I know how to do. That's box, box and talk preach, about God. Because yeah. you won't pay the bills. Okay. You made me something once, Doc. You can do it again. It is my destiny to win the heavyweight championship belt again. Last time they saw me, I looked like Superman. So now you look like the Michelin Man. This ain't no beauty contest. <laughs> Michael Moore, he's 26 and unstoppable. How can you beat that man? Foreman is considered an old man in this young man's game. It's now, or it's never. Mr. Foreman, oh. that funny little grill deal you signed is starting to generate some substantial checks. Really? Now I'm just surprised it shows a big old fat guy like me to sell a beer <laughs> to help people get lean. <laughs> April 28th, one of the greatest boxers we have ever seen. The heavyweight class of the 1960s to 70s, all the way to the 80s, even, even into the 80s, was a dominant error for people who wanted to see fights everybody was watching that or you was watching sugar ray leonard whoop on roberto duran and, and tommy hearns them whooping on each other all of them whooping on each other boxing's golden age just so happened to be in the 60s 70s 80s and 90s now i mean when it comes to competition meeting spectacle you get what i'm saying because everybody wasn't watching boxing fights when Jack Johnson won in 19, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> in 1907, but then everybody wasn't watching it, it was strictly black, black folks wasn't, listen, go do y'all research on who Jack Johnson is, the first black heavyweight of the world, they didn't want the national public to see him whoop and beat up a white man for the title, so the cops stopped the fight, they stopped the broadcast, so there's no record. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna say no record because we all know he won. There's no video footage of him knocking out the championship, the champion to be to get the championship. But I say all that to say, 
The only people that was watching that was white people, obviously. Obviously, obviously, it was 1907. You get what I'm saying? 1906, 1905. It was around that time. This is when everybody in the world was keying in on boxing, watching it on their TVs, going to these fights out in Manila. Going, you know what I mean? Like, this is the golden age of boxing. And it would be great if they made a movie from the perspective of George Foreman. Muhammad Ali and Smoking Joe Frazier. You get what I'm saying? Like, like it'd be dope. Maybe even a TV show. I would love to see that. A TV show maybe on stars and stuff like that to where you see all their childhood at the same time you go from one to the other to the other and then you see their teen years and you see their adult years until they're about to fight. <laughs> my, uh, my godson mom calling me and stuff. She know I be filming right now. What's wrong with you, girl? What's wrong with you, girl? I'm gonna call you after this. But yeah, man, I definitely, I definitely 100% look forward to this. April 8th is a little ways away, but not really. It's only a month. We're already in February of 2023. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy. This is crazy. But yeah, man, hey, that's it for the video. If you wanna see me react to something else, comment that down in the comment section below or go ahead and be on my social media. Jaritura underscore underscore. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time, man, I'll let you. Peace. Do it, 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 do it,